Hey everybody, Deanna Rubino here with Windows Central and we're taking a quick look at the messaging Skype app for our Windows 10 mobile. Uh, you can see right here I got messaging Skype and Skype video preview. Both are installed. Now this is definitely a preview and it's for Windows 10 mobile which itself is preview so there's some instability here. Uh, the app now got updated today and it's actually a lot better than it was. It depends on your device though. Some phones had a lot of crashing, others it was totally fine. On this device here, it was crashing a lot. Now it's mostly stable. It still once in a while crashes, and I think it has to do with the database. After all, this is pulling in information from your current SMS as well as Skype uh, centers, so you may have some issues there. Uh, as you can see here, what makes this app unique is when you go into messaging, you can have a conversation with people. You can see right now I'm in Skype, and you can see that by two ways. One, uh, the name for the person will actually be in the Skype blue color, and of course it says set on Skype or send on Skype rather, and I could switch between uh, text and Skype, which is really neat. You can see how the color changed there as well. So I'm gonna switch back to Skype, and now I can send a message to Mark if I want to just by simply typing. Now, what makes this app really cool, of course, is it makes Skype more like a WhatsApp type situation, where you can just message people directly back and forth, switch between SMS, and continue the same conversation. However, I can directly call someone like Mark by just hitting the video button here, and it's going to call. Um, and you can see us shooting there, so there's the camera. I can actually even turn off the camera as well so that when he picks up, uh, basically it won't show me. Now, this is a separate app, Skype Video Calling, which is uh, pretty neat and well built in and allows you just to directly call someone. I'm actually going to hang up on him quickly and I'll just show you the app itself. So this is Skype Preview for video and you can see right there I got the little tile. Now the Skype app still lives separately. Uh, and when calls come in, it seems to default to the Skype Video Preview app. Uh, but we expect the Skype app to live on Windows 10. It is a more full-featured client. And I wouldn't be surprised if Microsoft makes a universal app of that one as well, which will allow you to do better things like group calls and uh, do attachments. At least that's the hope. Right now, though, we have this app. So you can see it launches here. It goes right to your camera. That's just to show you, basically, that uh, you're gonna be on a video call. And it's a quick, like almost a mirror before you go on to the call. You can quickly see yourself. You see your call history here. Right now there's no way to delete things, but we imagine that will come later on. And now I can just tap and it should go into a call for Mark and it'll call him directly. And then it just acts like uh, Skype uh, normally does on any other system. Uh, I'm not gonna do the call there, we'll just hang up. And this actually reminds me a lot of FaceTime that Apple uses. So it allows you just to quickly call someone, and you can just do an audio call too. So if Mark picks up his phone, he'll actually have an audio only option. So he doesn't have to turn on his camera when he answers. But it's kind of a neat idea here. It definitely streamlines the system. It also works into the People Hub. So if I go into People and Mark, it'll actually show him as well. I can just tap and click and directly call him. It's a definitely neat system. It allows Microsoft to update things more dynamically, including messaging and preview apps through the store, which is how they're delivered. Now, of course, if you're actually in a Skype call, what's really neat, you can just hit the chat button, and you can see it's gonna jump back into your messages. So you can still send links and act like a regular chat window. You can see my call is still up here. I can once again tap that and go back to the normal Skype call. So you're not actually losing any functionality here. It's just divided up a little bit differently. You can also go into your settings here and you can set it as a default app. You can see right down here, messaging Skype beta or Microsoft messaging. So you can choose which one you want. If you're comfortable enough using this, just put it as Microsoft Skype beta uh, or messaging Skype beta rather, and you should be all set. And now text messages, Skype messages will all come through these both apps and you should be all set. Head to Windows Central for more information and stay tuned for more updates on this app. Take care, everybody.